Hello, everyone. My name is Jean Luen Yang. I am a comic book creator, and I'm so thrilled to get this chance to talk with you all. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you about a, a graphic novel series that I did with my good friend, Mike. The, the books that we did are called Secret Coders. There are six volumes of them. I have them right here. I did the writing and Mike did the drawing. Mike likes cats. That's why we put a little cat on his shoulder. Mike is a very, very talented artist. He also did the Wings of Fire series. So if you've read any of those books, you've read some of his work. Secret Coders is about a group of kids who find the secret school inside of their school. And this secret school teaches coding. It teaches computer science. So they learn coding, they code all these robots, and they end up saving their city. We hope, Mike and I hope, that when you read Secret Coders, you not only enjoy a story, but you also learn the foundations of computer science. We talk about all sorts of different topics. Here's one of them. Computers are something that we use every day, but um, they're also very different from us. So most of us, we speak English or some other human language. Computers do not. Deep down inside, computers speak a language called binary. And this binary language is made up of only two different values. It's made up of zeros and ones. So everything that a computer does, all the colors that you see on the screen, all the words that show up in your word processor, even the characters that you use when you're playing a video game, all of that stuff deep down inside is stored as ones and zeros. Ones and zeros, this language of binary is something that you all can learn to read. And that's something that we cover in Secret Coders. So let's start with this. How exactly does binary work? I'm gonna give you some examples. Let's start with this one right here, one, zero, zero, zero. This to most normal human beings means a thousand, but in binary, it means eight. How about one, one, zero, zero? To most human beings, this means 1,100, but in binary, this means 12. And zero, one, zero, one, this means five in binary. So if you don't know how to read binary, you're looking at this and you're going, what, what is going on? Like I said, this is something we talk about in our, our book series, Secret Coders. So in Secret Coders, there are these binary birds. There are the, these little robot birds. Here's what one of them looks like. Mike drew them so cute. I love the way Mike drew them. Um, but in this one scene, a, a binary bird sees a seven on Hopper's ear. Hopper is our main character and she loves basketball. And throughout the course of the book, she also learns that she loves coding. Uh, as a basketball player, seven is her jersey number. So she wears these earrings whenever she's not on the court that have little sevens in them. And when this binary bird sees this seven on Hopper's ears, it does this with its eyes. Um, this is kind of weird, right? By, like birds are not supposed to have three eyes. So Hopper's kind of freaked out. She asked her friend Any about it. Any, just like Hopper, is also really good at basketball and he's really good at coding. And Any explains, these birds are robots and their eyes display binary numbers. Hopper says, what are you talking about? She's so confused. And, and he goes on to explain, binary is how computers store numbers. It's really how computers store everything, colors, words, all of it. Every computer has these, they're like little switches that can be on or off. And a number is stored as a sequence of on and off switches, or in the bird's case, open and closed eyes. You make no sense. Take these seven pennies. Let's play a game. So this game that Hopper and any play in their schoolyard and the story is a game that I want to play with you all right now. So pay attention. I'm going to explain to you all of the rules. Actually, any is going to explain to you all of the rules. I'm going to draw the board right here. You always carry pennies and chalk in your pocket. Shh, I'm concentrating on my drawing. Now look, I've got four columns of boxes here. The first column has eight boxes, then four, then two and then one. I want you to fit all seven of those pennies into these boxes, but there's a catch. When you're done, each column has to be either completely full of pennies or completely empty. No half-filled columns. 
Okay. And there's only one solution. So this game that Annie and Hopper play, let's also do, I'm gonna change my screen share to show you this. This right here is a worksheet that I printed out from secret-coders.com, which is the website that goes along with the book series. And you can see on this worksheet is the game board that any draws on the ground with his chalk. I also have seven pennies. So how do I fit all of these pennies into these columns with no half-filled columns? Every column has to be either completely full or completely empty when I'm done. I'm going to give you a moment to think about it, and then I'm going to show you the solution. All right, that's a moment. Ready? Let's, uh, let's take these and start filling them up. Okay, I'm going to put four pennies in this column. And then I have three pennies left. I'm going to put two of those pennies here and one of those pennies here. So does that solution look correct? Are there any half-filled columns? No. Correct? There, every single column is either completely empty or completely full. Now, in this game, the empty columns represent zero in binary, and the full columns represent one. So that means because there are seven pennies here, seven in binary is zero, one, one, one. You get it? Seven is zero, one, one, one. Okay, let me switch back to our presentation. So in the book, Hopper comes up with the same solution that we came up with. Uh, she has one empty column and three full columns. And that's when she realizes that seven and empty, full, 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 or off, on, 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 or in the case of the bird's eyes, closed, open, 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 all mean the same thing. So that bird really was displaying seven in binary with its eyes. This is just one example of the topics that we cover in Secret Coders. I hope you will check it out. More broadly, I hope that you will check out computer science in general. You all use computers every day. Computers are such an important part of our world. Uh, I would argue that learning computer science isn't just about learning how to type uh, on a computer. You know, Learning computer science is about learning how to think in a certain way. It's about learning how to think uh, in sequence. It's about learning how to think so that you can take really complex stuff and break it up into smaller, more sequential, more easy to understand pieces. When you learn computer science, you will learn how to do anything better. If you wanna be a librarian in the future, if you wanna be uh, a business person, if you wanna be a doctor, or if you wanna be a computer science, any of those things, if you learn how to think like a computer scientist, you'll be a little bit better. Once again, thank you so much for uh, sharing this time with me. I have really enjoyed it. Go out and learn how to program. Go out and read more books.